Gary Walker, the tree whisperer, Tarzan making my way through the jungle here. So this is a pretty massive hedge. Let's get Nate the Great to pan down this hedge here. So everything in life is tools. I can either trim this hedge with these little clippers. That's gonna take me a while, I think. Oh, maybe a haircut. I don't really need one. I don't have much to trim. Or I could use my little clippers. Or let's come around this way. Look at all this woolly stuff. This hasn't been done in about a year, so every year we come in here, we give it a major knockdown. We make it look chrome dome like my bald head here. And then it's going to sprout out real quick. So it's all going to be trimmed. So we'll show you now woolly, and then we'll show you trim. So we're just going to follow around here. All right, now here's a hedge that has already been partially trimmed. This stuff over here is called natal plum. has a really nice, yummy... Mmm, white flower on it. Smells kind of like gardenia you give to your sweetheart. I love you, baby. And so we've already trimmed the face of this and trimmed the top. You can still see there's a bunch of little things sticking up there that we're going to trim. I just wanted to leave a little bit of contrast for you so you can see how this is eventually going to shape up. So all of these will get knocked down and then this will all be set up. It'll be good for the next year or two. So again, to recap, Proper tools are what we really need. So here we're using a, a gas motored electric trimmer with a real long bill on it, maybe a two and a half, three foot bill on it. And we can just kind of like buzz right through here. Much better than my little hand pruners or the clippers. So uh, we're gonna finish this up and I'm gonna come back in a little while and you're gonna see the finished product, nice and beautiful, fabulous style. So I better get back to work before my boss gets on my case. I'll see you. In that you know using the proper tool like this is way better than using those little hand clippers or the other traditional clippers so using the proper tool in the right situation is the best way to go so we have to clip this entire head and this is definitely the tool to do it with much neater cleaner cut goes much faster gives a more professional look Gary the hedge trimmer whisperer got to get back to work see you later We've got this thing wrapped up here. We've got to finish. We're just going to zoom around. Nate, uh, Nate my cameraman, just going to kind of follow me here. We come around. You can see what the finished product looks like. Lift nice and tight. And then, and then you're going to see as you come around the corner here. You're going to see that clipped up really nice. We always like to put out orange cones just for safety reasons. We don't want anybody driving up here offering us a free drink or pizza. We like to keep the zone safe. So you can see the power of tools. Literally, I tried to use my little clippers. Those don't work. Then I used the shears. Not good. Then we had the nice, big, long bill, gas powered, and that made quick, perfect work at this. So it's kind of wrapped up now. I'm going to head out and have a little bit of lunch, maybe a submarine sandwich, something like that. So I'll catch you later.